Hello everybody and welcome to day four of Children's Mental Health Awareness Week. So today I'm going to ask you to look at taking pride in your accomplishments. So this helps us to, um, to grow emotionally because it's a little more complicated than it sounds. When we're thinking about taking pride in our accomplishments, we need to factor in um, the difference between taking pride and being boastful. Um, we need to factor in having enough pride and not too much humility. And it also makes us confront those things that we're not so good at. So when we take pride in something, it's us acknowledging our self-worth, knowing that we've done a good job. When we're boastful about something, it's us constantly talking about that or, or shoving it in other people's faces or, or trying to gain attention for what we've done. And when we have a little too much humility, when we're a bit too humble, it's us holding back from telling anybody at all and, and thinking that... Um, that ours isn't as good as anybody else's. So there's a fine balance. And when we're thinking about things that, uh, that we've taken pride in, it naturally makes us think about those things that we, uh, we're not so proud of, those things that we don't think are up to high enough standards. So there's a lot of emotional growth to be had here by confronting things that we're not yet as good at. That word yet is very important. Um, it's not that we'll never be good at something, it's that we haven't quite got there yet and we're working towards it. And we also need to think about how we can express what we're proud in without it seeming like we're showing off. So let me give you some examples for me. Now, I'm quite proud of my creative side. Um, I know I'm not the world's best artist, but it's something I enjoy and it's something that I've practiced and I think I've got pretty okay at it. So I'm going to give you a couple of examples of that um, to show you what I'm proud of and then talk about why I'm proud of them. So I express my creativity outside of work in, um, in two ways, either through using charcoals or through photography. So I'll show you a couple of examples of both. Um, so here is one of my charcoal pieces. And the reason I take pride in this is because I wasn't very good to start with at all. And I know it's still not perfect. This is the original picture. Um, and this is my version at doing a charcoal drawing from it. So I know it doesn't look exactly like the original. It's not as smooth and there's some, um, you know, the clouds aren't quite the same, but I'm really proud of it. I think that I, um, I worked really hard and I really like the way that I've got the water on the boat and I quite like the chain here and the reflections. So that's something that um, I'm really pleased with how I've done on it. And I don't go around showing everybody. I keep it in a little folder here away from, from everybody. It's not up on my walls or anything. Um, and there's, you know, I, I worked along the way and had some success and some not very much success. Um, but then this is the other piece that I'm particularly proud of because I tried to blend a couple of styles here. I used all my charcoals and then I used a little bit of, um, of watercolour as well just to try to accentuate my picture. Um, and again, not something I have on display everywhere, but something that I keep in a little folder and, <clears throat> and know that I took time to, to create this and, um, and it turned out okay. And I'm particularly proud of my brickwork because for me it was really, really tricky to do. And I had to spend hours and hours and hours <laughs> trying to get this right. Um, and in the end, I think it's turned out pretty good. So for me, this is something I'm proud of because it wasn't easy. It took me a long time to practice. And in the end, I'm satisfied with the way it looks, but I'm not gonna go around handing it out to everybody saying, look at this, look at this, aren't I amazing? This is what I can do. It's just things that I feel good about. So what I'm going to do is close off this bit of the video and I'm going to show you some of my photography as well, because that is something that I am really proud of as well. I take a lot of photos and they're not all good. Some of them are absolutely rubbish, um, but I've worked really, really hard at trying to get pictures of Molly Dog because I think she's got such an expressive face and I like to try to capture her in lots of different emotions. So, um, and, and when I managed to do it, I think, oh yes, that's exactly what she was feeling at the time. I can see that in the picture. And it makes me really, really pleased with myself for having managed to capture that. So I'll show you some of those at the end. And then what I'd like you to do is think what you're proud of. So this might be something that you've already told people about, and that's fine. This might be something you've never told people about, and that's fine as well. Just think about 
something that you know that you do really well, something that you can say to yourself, yeah, actually, I don't say this often enough, but I am really good at that. And, and that makes me feel good inside. And it's going to be a little bit uncomfortable sometimes because, like I said, you are going to have to think about those things that maybe you're not quite as good at yet. Um, and you're going to have to try to get this across in a way that doesn't look like you're bragging to people. So let's have a look at what you take pride in, what you know you do well, and let's all celebrate that together. It'd be fantastic to share some of those ideas and some of those examples so that we can be proud of each other.